one of the signs that God has put you into a new team is that God will send you new relationships in your life. And God sent me one. The same way Satan wants to deal with you, he sends you a relationship. So, today, have the ministry of God's choice servant. This is a man of pure breed and pure stream. In the days that you are afraid of what people have, that you, are, you don't know, they are hidden. All kinds of stuff. Some good, some bad. There is water you are drinking of, but the water has some things inside. There are pure streams still remaining. Around them, the word of righteousness. Go tell them power, standing for Jesus. With track record of consistency in the spirit. And I trust God that nothing will remain unchanged in your life today in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your heart. And with a clap of ovation, I want you to welcome my brother, Evangelist Vincent. To to the coming after me till we still the dividends of your work in my life Felidos Trepanos Cominado Jesus' name we pray. Father, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for what you are doing here. Thank you for what you are set to do these three days. Thank you because we are sure that you will deliver into our hands rods. You will chisel it inside our spirit. Until you read that we tell upon and say, I have a man there. I have a woman there. People that, because of their presence, he that sits in heaven shall laugh. When in is are imagining a vain thing, the imaginations of Satan in our days are not vain, they are loaded. What is missing? Is he that sits in heaven? He's not laughing. He laughed when he had a David. When he had an uncommon. Raising this place again. Men and women that when you look into their families. And the hidden rage. You will laugh. You will laugh because you have us. Stay charmed at the threats of revival. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed together. Say better, amen. God bless you, the city.
I want to start by thanking the Lord for bringing us together again at his feet. I want to thank God for every one of you who God has given the privilege to drink I want to thank God for my friend and my brother, Apostle Dudechu. It is my prayer that you will outlive the expectations of men and then you will shock the expectations of hell. Uh, let me not say much today. Revelation chapter 13. I just want to uh, do an opening this night. Revelation 13. I'm going to read some scriptures with you. So, one. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his ten horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power. And his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wandered after the beast. Amen. I will read other scriptures, but I want to start from here. And I'd like you to listen very carefully. Make notes that will be prayer points to you. I want to say things that you can carry into your destiny, into your callings, into the environment where you live into your future, into your marriages as we consider thy rod and thy staff. I will concentrate more this night on a very critical issue. And I want it to sink very deep in your spirit because of the times that we are in. All my findings and studies about his rod led me to one thing, one major con conclusion. And that is, his rod is his power. Anytime God wants to bend the nation, he will bring a rod out of Zion. Anytime God wants to punish a nation, he will pull a rod out of Zion. Anytime God wants to save a nation, he will send rod from the stem of Jesus. It's not an ordinary stick. What Moses carried in order to marshal out the exodus of Israel from Egypt was not a mere stick. You know, it got to one time some people say, excuse me, all of us are men of God. Moses, go and sit down, you are an Aaron. We bring our rod too. 
To tell you that it's not a mere stick, they went to some trees and cut down some sticks. God said, let's prove it. Bring it inside. Put it beside the ark in the morning. One of these rods will show signs of life. Evidence that this is not stick. One critical conclusion. His rod is his power. God now cornered me and said, I will tell you why in your generation it seems as though my power is scanty. If you are a student of the word of God and you are sincere, you know there are many insincere people. If you are sincere, whenever you read the Bible and read our generation, you will think that God is angry with us. It is unfair to us. When you read the Bible, you will see men stumbling into angels in real life. You read the Bible, you will see men that God called, displaying the power of God from a high tension. When you read our generation, you will see people that talk about the power. We have more perfect description of his role. They had the life. You can't, if you deny it, I will know you don't read Bible. If you deny it, I will know that you don't study history. You've not studied your fathers. They spoke less mysterious. But carry the mystery in their life. It flowed from their life. We speak more mysterious. But the evidence is our poor. We are slaves. Slaves. To so many things that God has put under our feet. You meet children of God on campus or campuses. You will see that what is ruling in the atmosphere is holding many of them at ransom. I want his rod. His raw, his power. David said, That's what helped me to explore the rod and the staff. I'm not going to touch so much on that staff tonight. But this is where I'm coming from this night and why I'm reading Revelation 13. Friends. It takes capacity capacity to carry his rod. Is thy rod scanty in my time? He said, your capacity, your capacity is poor. We cannot connect that kind of charge to your wire. It will blow. Oh my God, you are not following me. Are you following me? Paul called Timothy and said, you have a problem. He said, from today, because of thy often infirmity, because of your stomach issues, Paul said to Timothy, he said, drink some wine. Take no longer only water. There 
there are things we are going to mix in what we give you so that food that should be a blessing to you will not become a destruction there is a problem and I will tell you the problem capacity within the scope of time I have tonight that's what I'm going to be hitting capacity until we find a man capable of holding the rod carrying his rod the rod of his power heaven will be afraid to release such charge on the kind of wire you carry now The scripture where we read. The beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. And his feet were how? As the feet of a bear. Talk to me. His mouth was what? As the mouth of a lion. How many, many animals in one? Three. Talk to me. Three. The dragon gave him his power. You didn't catch it. The dragon gave him his power because of his capacity. Because of his stature. The dragon handed over the seat of authority to the beast. It is a principle hell copied from our kingdom. Don't worry, I'm going to open the Bible for you very soon. It is principle they copied from our kingdom. Anybody you see that carry the power of darkness observe their character you will see their capacity even if she's just a 12 years old girl you will see the boldness the dragon must see something to give you his power you are the one who think you can talk anyhow eat anyhow laugh anyhow joke anyhow play anyhow and then carry the rod maybe in another lifetime not now. Thy rod, thy rod. We want just anchor it where I'm showing you the direction I'm coming from for now. Is his power. But God is saying, I will, I will give it to stature. I will give it to capacity. Revelation. I just want you to pick that revelation in revelation. When shall we commit what it takes to shake this nation? Give me a man who has the capacity. The capacity to bear my rod. In your foolishness, you may sit where you are and say, Lord, I think I have it. I don't blame you. <laughs> you don't know what power is. You don't know what it is. You have no idea what the raw, the raw, when it comes upon you. Okay. Let us read this scripture. It will help you. Somebody give me Luke chapter 9. Verse 1. Luke chapter 9. Verse 1. Quick. Another person find me Luke 24. 
Somebody stand it. Nine verse one. Yes, we don't have spare mic. You have to shout. Can you be loud? Yes, give it to him. Look nine verse one. Quick. It says, and gave them the right to exercise power and authority over all the demons and to heal diseases. Are you sure you're breathing at all? The way you read that in. <laughs> Let me take King James. Yes, have King James. Let me take King James translation. Then he called his 12 disciples to and took Mike in his mouth. Uche, Uche, this is your problem. See? Ate this thing and ran away. Disciples. One morning he called them. After having followed them. Why? Talk to me. And to cure diseases. Am I talking to you? Now, in 2449, read it. Uh, you have it. 2449. Behold, and he says, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. Uh -huh. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from, from on high. Now, what is going on? What did Jesus do in Luke chapter 9? He just gave his disciples power. And then in Luke 24, they wanted to move. He said, don't go. This is not disease. What you are about to do now is to turn the world upside down. He said, go and tarry. You need another capacity before I give you what it takes. Girls and some boys started shouting demon possessed people were shouting demon. and after everything my host called me said sir we took some of them to the back come and pursue what is worrying them i said i'm tired this is not what i came here for this is this is an elementary matter there is something else he said when he was talking in Acts of Apostles chapter 1, he said, this thing he's asking them to tarry for. This is the wrong. He's asking them to tarry and collect. You know what he said? He said, when you carry this one, uttermost part of it, Judea, Jerusalem, you will sit down like this one day and walk into the mosque. They will give you audience. This one needs capacity. If we bring this power, it will blow your brain box. Your deficiency will show. Your own preparation will expose. Your nakedness will be seen. So when they collected what it took to cure sickness and diseases and to change, that's an elementary matter. I see people who glory in that. The glory in the come out and the come out. The come out. It's a snap. It's a come out. Excuse me. That's an elementary matter. I'm looking for the raw that of Zion. You know, I one day I was a picture came to my spirit. The Bible says, Lo, peace be the man. The world upside down. I now to Google. What is what is the weight of the world? Nigeria, Ghana, each Africa, Asia continent. Some set of men lifted it. And turn it upside down. It can only be somebody that another power, another energy is flowing through. For that one, go and grow capacity. I won't give you. Say, tarry. Tarry. It's not tarry in IVG, it's tarry until we see. Until we can attest. That, that Jennifer has changed. Until we confirm that this UJ now has the count 
penance of a leopard, the feet of a bear, the mouth of a lion, give you our power. If you watch some Nigerian movie, some Nigerian movie before Satan took over Nollywood. Huh? If you watch some Nigerian movie before Satan entered, when it was still social, you will see some ancient movies. There is this one called Igodo. There's another one called Ijele. You will see certain persons who are to go and rescue treasure that belongs to the village from the land of the dead. Do you, do, do you get the picture of that? Most of them, before they, leave, before they collect what it takes, they will cook them. Till today, the powers that when you want from the from Satan, he will ask you to go and sleep in graveyard. They want to deform your mind and make you capable, capable of carrying the power. It is capacity. I had many days with you on this mountain. I will take roughly three days to talk about capacity. You can't carry this thing. The Lord, when he talks like that, it will sound cheap. As though David just sat on the throne and he came, he came from Adula. He came from years of wandering in the wilderness. Until he had the capacity, the capacity, the capacity to be a somebody here, your spirit must get dissatisfied this night. So that you will begin to meditate and muse in your heart. Lord, so this is how I will end. One day we are praying and some of my sons were asking me, they said, why am I, why am I crying like this? They said, the way you are crying, you are confusing us. If you are praying for prayer, where are we standing? They said, look at what your shout, because I was telling God, I said, so, so this is how I will die. So, after all my years on earth, so this is it. This is it. This is it. So this is, you want to leave me like this. So, when, they, when we were praying and they had me praying like that, they stopped praying and became, they said they are confused. That if I am talking like this, where do they start from? I said, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I roared. You will not live here without it. One day in campus, those years. We were to write an exam. And I stood up. And the whole hall, very large hall, and lecturers, everybody was looking at me. I want to, I want to exercise God. Are you eating in vain? I 
I stood up in the hall and said, Shall we pray? The entire hall started looking. You know, who, who, who talks like this when we are about to write and at 301? Shall we pray? They were looking at me. With lecturers who will give any space for my practice to students here. The entire hall, twice this place, they were looking at me. Some persons wanted to tell me to go and sit down, but they were paused. Where they were is the wrong. When you carry something. That even people that don't like it can't stop it. They stiffed to a place until you are done carrying out the function of a priest. Father! Those of us who read, that's me preaching in the name of prayer. Those of us who read, that's what I was praying. I said, don't allow these girls that give their putters to lecture and pass us. It takes capacity. Jesus said to his disciples, I will give you another mouth. This mouth of parrot can't talk like this. It takes a lion to roar. So the dragon gave the beast his power. Words that cause the earth to shake from its foundation. You need to go back home. You need to go back home. But this time around, you will come in the strength of his wrong. Don't give the beast his power. He first of all saw his a stature rise out of the earth. Jesus said, go and tarry. Go and tarry. They said, what do we do there? He said, just lock up yourself in a room. Until something I will send comes. He didn't give time. He didn't give hour. He simply, I just smelt his heart. He seemed to say, I will know when you are done. You can't bribe me. You can't bri I will know where you are ready. I will know. No matter how, how much try to bribe, he will not deposit what you do not have the capacity to carry. You will blow. Your engine will scatter. The nakedness of the church will be seen. So we are marching again to the land of the dead. He needs to put us inside the pot. One day I told my brothers, I said, Brother, let us pray that he will not release me until he has cooked. Kabas. He will not release me. He will not let me escape. Because of what carry. Because of what I must carry you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Hey, be you call. Cook out. Cowardice. I'm such a coward. I'm so timid. And this is the Lord out of Jesse. Ah! He gave the beast this power. When he saw the fruit as the fruit of a beer. Hurry! But did I send you something? I know when I will do it. Hey! Hey! Until 
I am done. What till I am done? Until I'm done. Until I am done. God release me. Until I am done. Until I am done. Don't release me. Don't release me. Throw me back into the box. Throw me back. Throw me back. Throw me back. Until I am done. Just a falling. Just a falling. My spirit must attain. There's a capacity I must measure up to. There's a structure. There's a structure that can carry what will change the world. is too small. A picture is too small. There's a fire inside me. I know it can burn the world. Just two minutes, two minutes. Sweet, fast, fast, fast. Open it fast in your spirit. Open up the door. Open up the doors. Open up the doors. Because you are not going to go back to the porch. Until I am done, shut up, wrap up the kula, I feel your scapula, wrap up that, amen to, amen to Christus, wrap up that, shadeka, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, show me that you're in the face, perot the scapete, I feel you, I feel you, Yeshua, let the fire to sweat, penuraka, sekum mina, fenente, efrone to pe, squala ta. Asia Tendia, Penetalia, Shatika. Until I am done. Until I am done. Until I am cooked. Until I mess up. I see something greater. I see something stronger than chronic disease. I see something stronger than casting out devils. It is to change the world. It is to command the world at the standpoint of the king rise. Oh, King Jesus, rise into Jerusalem. But he rests him to keep the world away. I see something. I see something stronger. I see something stronger. But he is ready. He is ready for such a appetite is not gone. Your sexual appetite is not gone. There are fears. There are failures. There are backwardness. Sakapira. Cook me again. Sit down. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I can. I can still go on. Or prayers. Which one do we do now? I don't know. Let's let's open one or two other windows. Now listen. Does it matter where you come? What matters is what is he carrying? What is he holding the rod? They will listen. They will listen. So rock, hmm. and keep the people at a standstill. A particular king sent 
participant shall come forward. As they come to pass it, let all the battles and their double side to a presidential convoy and the fool all upon their car around. I say, No, something is at work here. There's something Bible didn't say, the unwritten scriptures. Something is at work here. Elijah stood in front of presidential convoy sent by the king an ambassador is saying is it because there is no God in Israel do you know what I represent do you know why I am here that thou goest to Ekron to ask a possible whether thou would sleep he said go and tell him he will die they went back like a fool president said are you back they said we are back you mean you didn't go to England again for my surgery? Excuse me, what can you do? The pollution in Nigeria is deeper than hell. The rod that we handle it is as high as heaven. What can you do? What can you do? Now before you go, you can go outside if you want, pick a corner. And tell God, at least I can do one. Rather than the sea. Road that if you appear in Samaria, it will work. If you appear in Judea, it will work. There is Jerusalem, there is Judea, there is Samaria, and the uttermost part of the assignment cannot be carried out in two lifetimes. If we were to exist two times, we know that a lifetime is not enough. And 30 years has gone in struggling. 30 years of prayerlessness. 30 years of weakness. 30 years of failure. 30 years of backwardness has passed. Are you a glory from heaven? Are you a glory from hell? What can you do? How much can you contain? What can you carry? There's a spirit, diversity of the spirit. The one. It is giving the spirit of wisdom to another word of knowledge, to another prophecy, to another speaking of tongues, to miracles, interpretation. What can you carry? Which one can you hold and help us? Which one can you lay hands on and become a help? What can thou do? Enlarge my heart, enlarge my scope, stretch my spirit. Says, Apostle Paul said, For we do not boast above our nation. Paul said, We do not boast of peace above our nation. We don't meddle with peace that are far beyond our nation. We walk on peace that are within the reach of our nation. And what is in the reach of your measure? Corruption is too much. Where will I start? Pollution is too much. Where will I start? It is deeper. Deeper than hell. I can do something. I can do something. I must do something. I must do something. Let the glory of God descend heavenly here. Athes, Kates, Abrenus, Kapo. Ratatakuria, Ebolo, Christus, Awaba, Christus, what can I do? I can do something. I can do something. I can't live like this. I can't die like this. I can do something. I can do something. No, 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 no. America waits 
South America waits. North America waits. My children are waits. My village are waits. Communities are waits. I can do something. Oh, I can do something. Broaden my capacity. Broaden my scope. Somebody pray. Your spirit has increased. But in your spirit increase. But in your spirit increase. But in it is copper. That your heart is larger. Settle every immorality. Settle pollutions. Settle pollutions this night. Sharpiness. Apostle. Apostle, there's sharpiness. Sharpiness. This time around, not the most part. We want to go everywhere. They have to listen. If they enforce their God on us, they enforce their immorality on us. Wherever we go, when we open our phone, they enforce it on us. It's time we are coming back to carry the war. To carry the war. Hey. Until the world is open, 
I got some people are hurt you. Something is going on here. to speak five words of value. Lift up your hands. Whatever rules this territory, whatever rules this city, whatever rules the atmosphere that has kept men under the rule 
of lesser courts under the dominion of fallen kings he said there will be five kings there will be seven kings if five are fallen two is to come these kings they are fallen to where to the earth trying to gain dominion over men I lift up my hands and I stand in my office and not in the office of another whatever rules the spirit I break the rulership over you we reconnect your future reconnected to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus I heard three her when I told you I heard who cried out there may be more than three but I heard three cry out over the pollution in their soul Abba, God is talking about something deeper every yoke of sin every chain of addiction Kai Oi flow Oi flow right now break yokes break yokes break yokes break addiction Break addiction, break seduction. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the cross, may the Lord set you free. By the power of the Spirit that is ageless, may the Lord set. said to me that's awesome man gone taking away in the name of you will not be empty handed that that woman crying may God find your son may God recover your brother these are my decrees they shall come to pass. Every spirit attacking you, I give them charge. Let her go. Thank you, Father.
Sing it higher. Higher, oh. Higher, oh. Sing it. Let your spirit ascend. Stay here, okay? Don't stay down, okay? 